And it's a beautiful day because it's also the day that I reunite with Mitch. So today is the finale of Big Brother Canada as so I get to go see him and he hasn't even been exposed to the world for 11 weeks. I haven't talked to him in 11 weeks, or I think it's 12 weeks, and he hasn't even, doesn't know what's going on in the whole entire world. He doesn't even know that Lemonade came out, so like, gotta tell him that first. Up until this point, it's been so tough, and I've gone through like so many like ups and downs, and now that it's ending, I'm like, it's honestly kind of sad. I feel like a different person, and he doesn't know what's happening to me. I'm just sad, I'm just sad that he's missed such a huge portion of my life and I'm also sure he's sad that I've missed out on this whole experience that he had. So hopefully we'll be able to like vlog a little bit more and talk about what he went through and what and what I went through and then I don't know. It is just the weird. It is so weird. It is so 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 weird. But today it is so exciting. <laughs> so I like have so I don't know. I've been thinking about this for so long that it's like every single idea I have of like how to show just like how much I've missed him just it like feels lackluster. I think I just need to like see him. Oh. I don't know, I'm exhausted. Okay, I'm gonna get him flowers and like cereal? He's probably at cereal. I wish I could just get him Korean food, but like that would be really hard to bring, like bring him like a hot soup. It's probably like not the best idea, but I know that's like probably the one thing he wants. <laughs> I don't know, what's like, I haven't seen you in three months. What's Big Brother? Oh my God, okay, I'm just gonna grab one. Okay, the florist was amazing and she was able to spell welcome home from Big Brother in flowers. like. Can you believe? I'm just kidding. <laughs> These are them. So I forgot that I ordered this for Mitch. It's a shirt and you'll see. Hopefully he'll like it. I actually bought the same shirt when I was in New York. So now we're gonna be matching. We're gonna be like matching couple. In Korea, that's what couples do. They like dress the same. So like we're gonna just like be fully Korean. <laughs> it's like Mitch's dream. <laughs> Yes, Mitch. It's really small. So Mitch loves science, Einstein, and pickles. So it's Einstein licking, sucking a pickle. I don't know. But to keep the theme alive, Einstein's tongue out. Einstein writing in a book. I don't know. I just don't even know where I'm going to start. I'm going to be like, hello, my name is Craig Brown. <laughs> like, I'm just like, I don't know what I'm going to say to him, but hopefully it'll all come very naturally, but I'm extremely, like, anxious, obviously. Probably shouldn't have had another coffee. I'm, like, definitely sweating out of my pit stains. Dang. Are you excited to see Mitch? Yeah, I'm really excited. So yeah. excited! That sounded really fake. <laughs> He's not a very good actor. He's uh, actually really excited. I'm so excited. Okay, sh now we're going to show you what I'm going to wear. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so this is my shirt that's scuba-ish. Most importantly... Turn around. I'm a fun guy. Yes. Do you think my butt looks good in this? Yeah, That's it does. The for the pants. <laughs> uh, <all my> shoes. <laughs> I'm gonna wear these futuristic shoes. Very on brand, very science. So science. <laughs> no, but seriously, these are really cool shoes. So then you put them in like this and you let the air out by pressing this nozzle. You can like hear it. But then you pump them up like this. But you know, fashion's cyclical, so just keep your clothes. Fashion. Because in 20 years, they're gonna be cool again. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's in a good mood. <laughs> so I started this journey eating a cheesecake because I was sad, but I also nervously eat, so. <laughs> yes! We're on our way! Say hi! That's hi. Chanel, and that's Luke, and we're going to the finale. And it's gonna be amazing. Oh yeah, that's our Uber driver. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're there, and it's like packed. There's like, how many people? Hundreds? Hundreds. <laughs> Hundreds of people. But there was like, it's more than there's ever been before. Here. There's tons of people, but there's not tons of people. There's less people than usual. Yeah. They're just doing it differently. Yeah, okay. But apparently there's past Big Brother people here, but I just don't know which one's which. But oh, Luke can point them out. Oh, Luke can point them out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's others. Does there's people like taking photos of people, and there's people really dressed up. They look good. Walking the really big red carpet. And look at this cute photo we just took. Yeah, guys, no pictures, please, no pictures. Stop it. No pictures, no pictures. I wasn't able to film the actual finale show because there was no cameras allowed. I tried and they were like, turn that off. So then anyways, I got to see Mitch for about 10 minutes yesterday, but it was like really, really fast. But today he's coming home. <laughs> okay, so there's just a knock at the door. I'm freaking out. <gasps> Hi! Oh my god. I'm filming you. Oh my god. I'm like a filmer now. I'm like a vlogger now. Oh my god. Are you a famous vlogger? I think I almost broke the camera. I feel so weird. Everything is so weird. Do you have your phone? 
Uh, yeah, that's put away. I haven't barely been using it. Like I tried oh to use God. it. I don't know how to use my phone. Like, <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I don't know how to be around people anymore. Like I haven't seen this many people in my life. So <sighs> I feel so overwhelmed and exhausted. It's been a really exhausting few days. Yeah, it looks amazing here. Oh, I miss their home. <laughs> and look at this. I'm gonna spiritually hand off the vlog. <laughs> I missed this bed and we're oh my god I lost my voice from just like all the screaming and stuff and talking to people at the rap party How do you whatever. Feel? I feel really exhausted and overwhelmed and I'm not sure how I feel about it all yet. Like I feel like it was amazing, I was so happy, but <clears throat> I mean just like it's a lot to process being back into reality. I mean, I'm so excited to get Korean. I've literally dreamed about Korean food like every single day in the house. You haven't been in a long time? Uh, no, I haven't really been because whenever I would go, it would remind me of you, and I had a hard time when you oh. were gone. So Mitch is about to connect to the internet on his phone for the first time in three months, which is oh. crazy. <laughs> no, like I actually like I actually forget how to use it. I even using the sensor for my thumb and like touch screens are so weird. I don't understand, and I have literally uh, like 536 messages that are waiting. Like, Whoa, girl, that was popular. Well, I, I'm sure a lot of them are from like WhatsApp and like group messages that while I was gone, people were still. Are you gonna read them all like a novel? No. Well, oh, shade. Well, like the text messages I'll read, but like, I don't know. Like, we'll see. This is really overwhelming. I've never felt this way about a phone. Like, I'm actually like, what do I. Oh my god, Instagram looks so different. <laughs> I updated it. Oh my, oh my god, you're probably getting so many followers. Hashtag BB Camp 4. Look who's here. Hi. Uh, come into Korean for your first time ever. I'm so excited. Yeah. Oh, did you lose your voice? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sorry, I lost my voice. I party way too hard. <laughs> Mitch, are you lit? I'm lit. <laughs> what are you gonna order? Um, soft tofu stew, obviously. Yeah, nothing get? sounds yummier. Pork bone soup, doi. <laughs> what are you gonna get, Brian? I haven't seen the menu yet. <laughs> <laughs> gonna get the so we're entering into my favorite part of town, Koreatown. Um, how do you like tunnels so far? <laughs> I love it. It's so much fun. <laughs> Sorry, my boy. <laughs> I know. Like, that's, <laughs> you need to fix that. <laughs> uh, so I have waited so long for all this. <laughs> oh, hey, it's Aaliyah. Hey, Arissa. <laughs> how was your first? Korean experience. Oh, so good. <laughs> oh, Korean's always good. <laughs> Delish. Oh Whoa. Oh, so weird. Hey, Sap Science, your new life. Yeah, this is so weird. Actually. Is it? Everything is so weird. Everything is so weird. Every day, every day, all day. <laughs> Mitch said that his calves hurt from walking so like much. I mean, like 300 I, meters. I didn't walk so much. My <laughs> calves hurt so much because I've been sitting on a couch for three months. That's like really like yeah. You probably have like what is it called when like like atrophy? atrophy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like muscles are gone. Probably should do a video on that. Like what happens when you don't move for three months? Imagine if you just came to the gym. <laughs> I feel like Big Brother took literally years off your life. Like no okay. vitamin D and like no walking. Yay! I had my first day of work. Slash, I didn't do any work. I just watched videos while they all worked, <laughs> but <laughs> and now I'm going home and I'm like, oh, I'm done. I just watched ASAP science videos and ASAP thought videos and uh, I had fun, but it's been weird. Are you, you guys, ha guys happy having me back? Yeah, no. I'm so happy. I cried when I watched <laughs> yeah. it. Rachel actually cried. So. I didn't mean to. <laughs> it was so cute. It was so nice. <laughs> but. It's been a nice day, and oh, and it's Rachel's birthday! Happy oh, birthday! Oh, <laughs> we went for lunch, so also we just talked about Big Brother for like two hours, and yeah, then we went for lunch, and then I just watched Except Science videos. It was really hard. Oh, they so good. Yeah, they're all amazing. I'm so <laughs> proud of everyone here for being so amazing and taking care of everything. You guys, it has been such a weird few days. It's almost been, well, it's been like five days since I've been out. And I don't know, I just wanted to try and explain like what goes through the brain of a person after they've been in isolation for over three months. Um, I don't know, it was a really, really cool experience I had, but it's been so weird coming back to reality. Like I explained how I, I couldn't use a phone, being around people was weird to see just like people walking down the street that I 
don't know. So many of you guys have been super supportive, but that's one thing I want to talk about because a lot of people coming out of here didn't have, you know, a supportive internet group before they went in there, and so we're all gonna receive different amounts of love and hate, but just remember that everyone that did this show or any show like this is a human being at the end of the day, and the game is over, and so it's time to just go back to life, which is strange for a lot of us. And we had this really intense experience as a group that not a lot of people on this earth can really understand, which is amazing and interesting, but then you step away from it and it's kind of like, what is reintegrating with society? What does that mean for me? I had an amazing experience, but now it's time to say goodbye to that experience and move on with your life. And that can feel really good and really sad at the same time. I totally appreciate and love all of you for the fact that you've been so nice to me on the internet. I feel really lucky. It is hard to leave that house and come back to reality and just be in a room with your friends and people who you can trust and love. Time to appreciate it for what it was, some classic entertainment, a good game, and move on from that. Thank you for going on this journey with me, with Greg, with ASAP Science, and with everybody in the Big Brother house. We'll see how things go from here on out. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs>